Hello and welcome back to RimWorld, ladies and gentlemen. Today, well, today we begin by going uh, to the pause menu. The reason we're doing this is quite simply because I want to change my AI storyteller. For these first 15, for the first 15 episodes, we were on Phoebe Chillax. Going forward, I would quite like to use Cassandra Classic because Cassandra Classic is going to give us basically a steadily increasing curve of challenge and tension. I'm not going to change the actual game difficulty, just the storyteller, because that way there is going to be a steadily increasing curve of challenge and tension, and we're also slightly increasing the difficulty as opposed to just straight up going to extreme difficulty. So that is certainly a thing I want to do. What I would also like to do is go to here, and I'm going to go to structure, I'm going to go to marble wall, and I'm going to bring a wall over to here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is quite simple. We'll get to that in just a second. Also going to put one there. I'm also going to put one there. And I'm going to deconstruct that door, that wall, that door, and those bits of wall. We're also going to deconstruct uh, that bit of wall, and those I'm going to cancel you. And we're going to come over here. There's an infection. Now, we'll deal with that in just a second. Uh, going to deconstruct this as well. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to deconstruct this entire section here. Just like so. Going to cancel a couple of bits of wall. And continue it straight to there. So that'll be pretty good. Now, who has an infection? Plateau has gotten, in gotten sick from infection. Uh, so our prisoner has gotten a bit sick. That's fine. We can deal with that. We can treat him. We have the technology and we totally want to capture this guy. So that is something we're going to be doing as well. Uh, now, all of this construction is going to take a little while. But the reason I'm doing this, the reason I'm getting rid of some of the doors, is because with this increased difficulty, I want to be able to predict raids a little bit better. So by doing this, getting rid of these doors and replacing it with a wall walling this off and getting rid of this door means that generally speaking when we're raided they are gonna attack from the south or from the east and funnily enough we have turrets on the east and turrets on the south so i'm gonna feel much much better about that about getting attacked from those directions if we have some decent defenses in those directions so that's kind of the plan there uh so that should be pretty good and i'm gonna reinstall that turret just over there so that'll be pretty good. Get those done at some point. We should see the deconstruction over here go pretty quickly. Hello, we got a new recruit. Plateaus are... Oh, we got a lot of things. Okay, cargo pods, jump to location. We have some muffalo wool. And our new recruit, Plateau, is going to need some treatment. But we'll get him sorted in a second. Uh, interestingly, we also have a superior quality assault rifle. Are you any good at shooting? You actually can't. You're incapable of dumb labor and violent. So he can't haul, which is annoying. But he can social and can artistic. Good. Good. Just, just what we wanted. Okay. He can be a crafter. He can also... I don't really want him to be an artist. I kind of need crafting as a priority. Uh, smithing and tailoring, I don't care. Growing, he can do. Uh, mining he can do, construction he can do, repairing he can do, uh, firefighting, yes, patient, no, doctoring, definitely not, bed rest, yes, flick, yes, warden, yes, actually, definitely, handling, I don't care, cooking, no, these things are pretty important, this is quite important, and then I guess low-level research as well, so that's that done, unfortunately, we don't have any clothes for, the well, we do, I could get him to for I could forswear a parka, but I don't think I'll bother. So we have eleven colonists. That's not bad. That is uh, most certainly not bad. So he's off to rest. He's in a medical bed. Hopefully, someone's going to go ahead and treat him because he certainly needs it. We should see someone. Do I think Tony's likely to be the one that does that. To be honest, uh, let's get you up and see what we're gonna do. You're gonna consume a simple meal uh, and go sow an area. Oh no, John's feeding him. Okay. Have you actually been treated? Not yet. So your immunity is at 20% on a minor infection. Can we get someone to treat you? Rest until he... Hold on, are we not actually... 
Have you been treated? Infection might... We need someone to actually treat you. Um... Mortis, can you? I'm actually slightly concerned that no one seems to be treating him. You're researching, cutting grass, building. Um... Yeah, no one is actually treating this dude. And I'm really not sure why. That's really strange. I feel like he should be getting treated, to be honest. And we're being raided. Pirates. They... Want to use sappers to tunnel around my defenses. There's only a few of them, but that one has a minigun. That's a triple rocket launcher, actually. Triple rocket launcher. Grenades. Using on my marble wall. Uh, using fry grenades on marble wall. Moving. That's a shotgun. That is a charge. Right, right. There's a lot of weapons we could get here. Mia. Go and grab that assault rifle. So, go and grab that. Quick as you can. Everybody else, so Bear, Tony, Lucia, Bill, Mortis, Salvador, Caro, and Mia. Equip, or rather, recruit. Uh, Emmy and John need to be in a safe spot. So, hold on a minute. Let's go to zone and area. Let's, I guess, expand a lot area. So, the safe zone. So the safe zone needs to be... Ex oh, this isn't safe. Uh, the safe zone needs to be expanded to in there. And in there. And in there as well. And there too. So that is technically all the safe zone. This bit up here, not so much, but that's fine. Uh, so... For that reason, we're going to restrict John and Emmy to the safe zone. Everybody else, not so much. Actually, Plateau as well, to be honest. You're going to have to go there as well. Uh, so, Mr. Plateau, you can stay in the safe zone. Everybody else, except for you three, you're all recruited. You're going to move there. Now, these guys are pushing up. My turrets should probably start shooting them pretty quickly. Which is good, but can I get them in there? Ah, no, this is a problem. Uh, go back through the base. Actually, don't. Go up to there. Oh, Jesus! Right, he's done. That's fine. Who has the triple rocket launcher? Oh, my God. Right, that's a problem. So, two of them are done. Bear is one of them. Can we take this guy out? Right, he's dead. Uh, you. You. Actually, everybody run. Run, Tony. There we go. We're fine. Kill this guy. Right. They're running. That's fine by me. Uh, kill this guy. Come on. Get some shots off. There we go. Right. He's done. Can we get this one as well? You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, so, let's... Are you still recruited? Hold on. No, 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 no. Select everybody. Recruit, unrecruit. Oh, for God's sake, seriously? Right. Um, unrecruit you four. Unrecruit you two. So bear I think I think everyone is dead. We didn't there's no survivors from the attack. You're dead, you're dead. You're dead. I'm actually gonna restrict these bodies for the time being. And all the food and just everything. Salvador, go and Reserve my Mortis. Uh, rescue Lucia. So we need to see what happened to everyone. Lucia, your health is... Why can't I click on you? I can't seem to click on Lucia. That's concerning me. Uh, Lucia, you have had your right middle... F so... Generally, you're... Fine. You've been shredded, but generally are fine. Bear has just lost an eye and a hand, and his ribs been shattered. But other than that, I think he's fine. Tony, you are bleeding a lot, but that's okay. All right, Mr. Plateau, are you any good at shooting? Is my question. You can't. You are useless then. 
Good. Uh, so we do have a charge rifle lying out there. Mortis, I would like you to go and... I guess equip it. Hold on, who's my best shot that's still standing? Uh, so Bill is 2, Tony 6, Bearer is 10, is 9, of course. Salvador already has a sniper rifle. Um, honestly, John, I'm going to give it to you. I don't care that it'll make you unhappy. Go and grab the uh, the charge rifle. Brawler has ranged weapon. I really don't care. I really don't. It's going to make him annoyed, but how annoyed does it make him? Oh, very. Jesus. Okay, John, in that case, equip that spear. Uh, so what else have we got going on around here? We need to fix this wall. We could probably take that uh, helmet there. So, Mortis, what are you doing? Tending to bear Bill, you are standing. So, go and strip this guy. If you wouldn't mind. So, strip that guy, and then I... Actually, what are you doing? Oh, you're cremating them. All right. I guess you can do that. In that case, uh, Mia, can I get you to go and haul that Kevlar helmet, please? Because you'll probably end up putting that on. Uh, Plateau, can I get you to go and haul? You are not a hauler. Of course you're not. Alright, well, Mia's probably going to end up putting that helmet on. Uh, Plateau's being tended to at the moment. He's been treated, but I'm a bit worried about him. Uh, Tony's up. Bear is up. But the dude has had his sight weakened. Yeah, he's not going to be good. Lucia, can we tend to you? I guess you're sort of alright. Um, Hunter likes weapon. Who? Bear. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with him. Did he seriously lose his... It seems like Bear had his weapon completely destroyed, if anything. Which has me a bit worried. Um, Bear, I know you're weak, but I'd like you to go and equip the charge rifle. I'd also like you to, um, once you've done that, go and strip this dude. Then haul the power armor helmet, because you'll probably put that on, which will look amazing for our best hunter. So there we go. Bear's put on the helmet. Uh, he's also put on a new jacket, which is pretty cool. Plateau still hasn't put on anything, which is fair. Let's see. Uh, let's give... Ch I'm going to... What is Bill doing? Oh, Bill's moving a body. All right. Tony is a medic. Tony's quite important as well. So, Tony, I'd like you to haul that armored vest. Uh, who doesn't currently have a gun? So, I feel like Lucia probably doesn't. Yeah, Lucia, I'd like you to go and equip that assault rifle. That's probably a good idea. Uh, so, Tony is going to haul that armored vest, which means that will probably end up being put on. Uh, let's unrestrict everything else out here. So that we can start moving everything away. Hopefully we'll get that wall put in at some point. We do need to do a little bit of uh, reinforcement just here. So do that. I'm going to put a bit of marble wall just in there. And this up here still hasn't been constructed because we're still in a pretty rough spot. So Bear is really not in a good way. We have four bad moods. Plateau is... Yeah, major infection, and it's untreated. That's alarming. Uh, Tony, can you maybe treat this dude? Are you really, are you not set to do medical? Uh, Tony, you are. Why is no, why can I not tell you to heal him? Interesting. It's really interesting that I can't seem to uh tell them to heal them. So Bear's fully healed. Plateau is on his feet, but this infection could kill him. And I'd really rather it didn't. Oh, for God's sake. Lucia's got an infection in her left arm and in her torso. Now, where is Lucia? I assume that's because of the amount of blood lying around there. So a couple of minor untreated infections. So go treat Lucia. So let's get those infections treated right away so that we can hopefully beat them. 
I mean, generally there is just severe pain. I mean, there's three people here who are doing pretty rough at the moment. Uh, Lucia is not in a good way. Tony is, I think, just needing to rest at this point. So I think they'll be all right. Terrible mood there from Plateau. I mean, that's kind of to be expected. The dude is experiencing a major infection. I also realized I can't tell anyone to treat him because he was treated already. Uh, he does not need treated though. So Tony, you're on your you're not on your feet at all. Uh, Bear is researching. I think it's a was it John? Yeah, John's gonna treat Plateau. All right. Well, that's fine. At least stuff's getting done. John is making an armored vest as well, so that'll be nice to have. Uh, all the stuff right here is apparently slowly being hauled around. Is that a shotgun? That is a shotgun. Okay. That might be nice to have. Uh, Mortis currently has a rifle. Bill has a rifle as well. I mean... I guess Plateau can't do violent either. So maybe, I mean, which one of Mortis and Bill are the better shot? So shooting two and shooting five from Mortis. So Mortis, I'm going to give you a bit of an upgrade. Well, I say upgrade, we'll just give you a shotgun. It's it's maybe not an upgrade because you did have a bit of a ranged weapon beforehand, but we'll give you this anyway. So we'll get you that. And uh, I'd also really appreciate it if you would go ahead and hold that. So there we go. We'll get that put into storage. Someone might use it, someone might not. Plateau is still pretty bad. Uh, Lucia's on her feet, though, so those infections are... Yeah, 28% immunity. Plateau, you are... 97%. I think you're going to be fine. It looks like he's going to develop immunity. Yeah, there we go. So that infection is just going to go away. All right. Bear, what's up with you? You are sleeping. We need to clean that room. We really need to clean that room. Um... Okay, I probably want to set someone to clean. So you can't clean... Can I set someone to do it? This new guy can't do it either. Um, Mortis. What are you up to? You're playing chess. What will you be doing when you're not playing chess is my question. Will you be up and cleaning? Because we need someone to do that. So he's sewing an area. All right. Uh, Plateau's gone into a mental break. That's an issue. Mortis, I think I'm actually gonna... Actually, Emmy should be doing some cleaning. I think let's take Emmy off of plant cutting. Uh, and she is a very good cook. So we'll focus on that. Tony is a pretty good cook as well, but not as good as Emmy. So that's gonna be secondary. Uh, repairing and all that's gonna be secondary as well. I think I'm gonna put you in a bunch of secondary priority things. So that Tony is gonna be effectively just a cleaner. As opposed to a cook. So we'll see that get done pretty quickly, hopefully. Uh, primarily a medic, but also gonna hopefully clean the place up a little bit. There we go. So that's gonna keep everything nice and clean. Ideally, we would maybe want to expand the medical space and put down more silver floor, not silver floors, but the uh, sterile tiles. That could be something to do in these rooms, but we'll see. Lucia's in a bad mood. Plateau is in here taking his clothes off. That's honestly fine. As long as he stays in the base, I'm not too worried about it. So that should be fine. So what is... Uh, Bear is currently having a sleep. That's kind of to be expected. I'm gonna set Tsunami to follow him. Because I feel like that is a fair thing to do. I think I'm also gonna need to go to restrictions and put everybody back to unrestricted. So that should be alright. Bit of cloth lying around in there. So we might see some of the carpets get put down. Which would be very nice to see. But uh, I think generally we're doing okay. Lucia is... Minor infection, major... And I'm slightly concerned about this major infection in the left arm. Because at 63% immunity, I don't know if you're going to beat that. I'm not entirely convinced that you will beat that infection. And if that gets to extreme, and you are miles away from, from uh, immunity, you are going to die. So we may have to cut Lucia's left arm off. It's kind of looking like we're going to want to save up and invest in a couple of bionic arms. Because Bear lost a hand. Which has knocked his... Hold on, what is that? What does that hurt? What? Hold on a minute. Uh, if we look at medical. Bear is... His sight is at 50%, which is a problem. But it looks like manipulation might actually be okay. 
despite losing a hand. Uh, your consciousness is pretty rough at the moment. I think, actually, I mean, you lost an ear. I feel like Bear may have just lost his ability to sort of be our primary fighter. Which is a bit annoying, to be honest, but we can look into it. Uh, is, how's the cleaning going? Now, Tony's asleep. That's fine. But this place immediately, I mean, just looking around, does look a bit cleaner than it was. Uh, Bear's actually done doing some research. What are we getting? Brewing. Okay. We still need to build this thing. We need 100 steel, 50 plasteel, and 20 gold. Not entirely sure we're going to get that, to be honest. But we'll see. Let's go to orders for a second and set some cut, cut plants order. I almost said something else there. That was that would have been something very, very different. Uh, cut plants. There we go. We'll cut those all down. And <laughs> get those all out of the way. Uh, so we've got brewing. Let's go to the research screen and grab ourselves. Might as well get some IEDs. Don't see why not. So Tony's up and consuming corn and then clearing dirt. All right, who's in a bad mood? Lucia. Oh, hello. And has gone into a daze because she was feeling bad. Okay, well, that's a little bit annoying. Plateau's also still in this daze here. I mean, he is kind of all right. He's immune to the infection. Lucia, on the other hand, I mean, oh, that's gone to major. Although, you will actually beat that. So you're fine. That's major, but 99% and immunity. So you're fine as well. Which is actually amazing news. That's all sorts of useful. Uh, and my plateau is a bit hungry. That's mostly down to the fact that he's been in a daze for a while. There's not a lot we can do about that. How are we looking at what is Salvador up? Oh, hello. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh, so Molotov cocktails. That's an SMG. That's a charge rifle. That's a shotgun. That's a sniper rifle. That's a shotgun. Uh, this wall is constructed, so we're going to need Bear, Tony, Bill, Mortis, Salvador, Caro, and Mia. Okay. Let's recruit. Let's see what these guys are up to. Where the hell are they going? Are they trying to come through my wall? They bloody are. Oh, dear. That's a problem. Uh, let's get out there, then. Okay, you two are in a risky spot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna grab you two and send you over to here, and see if you can do some fighting for me. Uh, so Caro, I'm gonna send you to that spot. Salvador, you could probably sit back further, to be honest. So I'll have you sit back here. Did they just? Oh my god, they broke in. Okay, uh, that was unexpected. I'll be honest. Let's get you down to there. Okay, so they are actually coming back, which is great news. Let's grab you, and grab you, and send you all down there. So this flanking move should actually work pretty well. Alright, bear's been hit. That's a, that's a bit of an issue. Uh, you get to there, Mortis. Uh, Bill, I'm gonna send you around to there, actually. Okay, Bill's probably gonna die. Uh, Bill, do you wanna move, mate? Okay, this, this this was maybe a bad move with Bill, to be honest. So Bill is hurt pretty gonna be hurt pretty bad there. Tony, can you shoot this one? Uh Mortis, can you shoot this one? Mia, can you shoot this one as well, please? Okay, so Tony's done as well. Good. Shoot this one, please. And Salvador Caro's gonna be on fire if I'm not careful. Um, move up to there, please. Are they- they're fleeing. Good. Okay. Right. Um, we need to, uh, unrecruit you and you and you and you and you. Actually, honestly, Caro and Salvador, you could probably stay recruited because I think there's only a couple of them left. So, Caro, just keep shooting, please. There we go. Kill that one. There we go. All right. Bill has burned to death. Oh, you're kidding me. No, you're still alive, and so are you. Which is useful. 
But Bill has straight up burnt to death. I can't believe I wasn't quick enough. I can't believe I wasn't quick enough to rescue Bill. Oh, for God's sake. Um. Well, that's annoying. But sure. Hopefully these fires get put out pretty quickly. Which it looks like it looks like it's happening. Um, so Bill's Bill's dead. Tony. Uh Tony, 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 Tony. I can't click on right now, that's fine. Um, right. Bear, go and capture Francis. And Salvador, go and capture Walker. So get both of those guys captured. Unrestrict all of their stuff. That dude's dead as well. Uh, so that's fine. Salvador is capturing one. So Emmy, can you go and strip that dude? Caro, I'd like you to... I guess you're going to have to strip Bill. Oh, I can't believe Bill's dead. I'm not happy about this. We have another charge rifle. We have another sniper rifle. Which actually has me quite happy. Because another charge rifle is not a bad thing to have. So... I mean, Bill had the last rifle, the last crap rifle, which is, I can't believe he's dead. I'm not happy about this. Uh, Tony, I don't know what you had. I think you had that shotgun. We're probably going to want to get you a charge rifle. Lucia is in a daze. Mortis is tending to Tony. Uh, Emmy, can you... So you were, you're beating a fire. All right, that's probably for the best, to be honest. Uh, a couple of mental breaks. That comes at a really bad time, to be honest. Lucia and Mia. That is a real bad time for that. All right, so what are you, you stripped him? That's fine. Is the fire still going? I don't know that it is. Uh, it is. Can we beat this fire out, please? Salvador, can you... You're not going to beat that out because it's not in the home area, is it? Oh, for God's sake. Right, architect zone area. <laughs> Expand the home area. Let's shoot there, please. So someone go beat out that fire, if you wouldn't mind. There we go. Salvador knows what he's up to. So that's been done. Uh, Salvador, can you please... You're not a hauler. Uh, Mortis, then. Go and haul Bill. All right, so that can be done. So that'll be done. Uh, Tony is actually on her feet again. John, can you go and strip Onion? It's a great name. Because there is another helmet in there. And what happened to Tony? Let's have a look. So health-wise, you're actually all right. Bill, I can't even look at Bill because he's being hauled. Um, Tony, I'm going to get you to go and haul that armor if you wouldn't mind. Because you'll end up putting it on. Which I think is going to be real useful. So go and put that on, please. Which maybe you didn't. I don't think you did. Or did you? I don't know if you did. Uh, you might have. You might not have. Go and equip that charge rifle. And go and haul that helmet. Because you might end up putting that on, which I think will be really good. All right. There is an infection. Tony has an infection. Our primary doctor has a minor untreated infection. Bill is there. What happened to Bill? He had his jaw shot off. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, that, that will have, um... That will not have done well for him. That was completely my fault as well. Which makes me feel terrible, but these things, I suppose, happen. Alright, Mortis, you've been shot and really need... You really need seen to, to be honest, buddy. But we'll get you to strip that one last body. I'd also like to put that wall back in there. What is this? An assault rifle and restrict. Uh, Mia's out there, but there's nothing I can do with that right now. Okay, so there's a bit of starvation going on. Lucia's starving because of this daze. There's not a hell of a lot I can do about that at the moment. Uh, Bill is there. I would actually really like it if Mortis could go and... No empty grave. Okay. Um, maybe prioritize crema uh, cremation there, buddy. You're going to go and cremate some of the remains of these guys. That's to be expected. Okay, Hunter lacks weapon. Who doesn't have a weapon? Uh, Mia. Well, that's kind of Mia's own fault, if I'm perfectly honest with you. So I'm not going to really worry about that. 
Uh, Bill there, just... I mean, nothing I can do with him. He's, he's, he's out of it. He's gone. Uh, Lucia there, still in a daze. Bear, you are... You're doing alright, I suppose. Consi <laughs> all things considered, Bear's probably doing alright. Uh, repairing some walls there as well, which is nice. Tony has an infection in the left shoulder. Uh, is anyone going to tend to Tony? I and mean, it looks like Mortis is heading out to cremate Bill. Looks like these states are over as well. Which is good. Uh, Mia, can you... Tony is reserved by John. Okay. That's fine. This wall really needs to be constructed, but hopefully we'll get that done at, uh, at some point or other. You have a charge rifle. You have a charge rifle. Lucia doesn't have a weapon. Lucia, go and equip that assault rifle, please. Which would be good. Uh, go and maybe... Let's get you to haul that. You're not a hauler, fair enough. Uh, let's not have you force wear anything, then. There's a few weapons lying about there, though, that I'd really like to be picked up. Uh, so... Bear can go do that. Mortis is cremating. John, you can hold that one. Caro, you cannot hold that. Emmy, you can. So we'll grab those weapons, we'll bring them in. And get them into storage. Uh, Tony is... 29% on a minor infection. I think Tony's probably gonna be alright. There's another assault rifle there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Mortis is still doing the cremation process. Which is fair. Uh, he's also burning some apparel. Fair enough. Uh, Bear, where are you? You're shearing an alpaca. Okay. And there's a mad animal. A local boom rat has gone mad. And is now dead. Well, it tried. It certainly tried. Alright, let's look at you two. We haven't had a chance to do this yet. So as a prisoner, you are going to be difficult, but not impossible. And you are going to be even easier. Okay. Uh, we'll give them the best medical attention that we possibly can. So hopefully that's something we can get sorted sooner as opposed to later. Uh, because it would be nice to recruit a couple of people here. We'll see how that goes. Francis, are you going to join us? Uh, no. Alright. Well, that's fair enough. Emmy, can you maybe go and talk to Walker as well, please? Oh, we can strip him. Actually, you know what? We will do that. We will strip these guys. And Francis as well, so strip the pair of them. No, Francis. Francis, 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 come back here. Just come back here, Francis. We're gonna just strip you. We're gonna hold that armor vest. So we'll throw that into there. I feel like I'm kind of glad Emmy didn't equip it. Uh, Lucia, I'm probably- I'm gonna maybe force you to wear that armor vest. Uh, that'll maybe make you a little bit unhappy, but we're gonna get you to do it anyway. Um, Emmy, if you could go and strip Francis as well, please. Because Francis keeps putting clothes on, which Francis is not supposed to be doing. So go and hold that. Mortis is sleeping. Caro, you cannot hold that. Plateau, you can't do dumb labor, so you're not going to be doing that either. Um, we'll strip them properly eventually. Lucia, I would like you to force wear the Kevlar helmet. That's a risky one. Uh, Emmy, go and prioritize holding that helmet as well, please. So we'll get that out of the way. Which will be good. Now, colonist needs treatment. Tony needs treatment. Now, what is Tony do? Tending to Salvador. Tony, you are selfless. You are honestly selfless. It's slightly infuriating. Because you really need rest. You really do. Someone needs to... T are you seriously... Oh, for God's sake. Tony, lie down, please. All right, so Tony's there. I would like Mortis to treat Tony. Mortis is actually becoming... He's, he's been really useful, this guy. He's a great guy. Now, Tony, how are you looking? Major at 67. We've seen that before, so I think you'll be fine. As long as we keep it treated, you're going to be alright. A fire? Oh, the boom rat blew up. Okay, well, we'll put that... Oh, for God's sake, John, you're going to put out the fire, mate. Alright, Salvador's coming down to do it. There we go. So that's not much of a problem. That's that sorted. Boom rat's dead. And we got a bit of meat from it as well, which is nice. So... How are we looking? You are not recruited. Fair enough. Mia is currently making some clothes. This is all being harvested. Tony is looking all right. I think we'll be fine. Hunter likes weapon. Uh, Mia, you are a decent shot. We should get you a decent gun. Uh, so we'll give you this. 
get that assault rifle on the go. And there's no dry thunderstorm. That's just what we need. Seriously, cap it all off. Give me one more raid, why don't you? And there's a fire. Well, that's just good. That's way out there as well. Oh, for God's sake, Tony. Tony, 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 no. You should be resting. You're at 91% though, so I think you're going to be completely fine. Uh, you are potentially going to set yourself on fire if you're not careful. But I think, you know, you've got, we've got our friends out here helping. I love that we have a couple of people with um, these helmets as well. That's quite nice. Animals are slightly starving. I mean, that's mostly down to the fact that we don't have, uh, we haven't hauled the corn yet. So, Mortis, can you go and do that? And then I'm also going to delete that growing area. So if Mortis can haul some of that corn, that'd be quite nice. Because the animals do need to eat. Uh, now, how are you guys looking? We're talking to you, and it failed. We're talking to you, and it failed. All right. Poor moods and fire and low food. Jesus, it's all going on here. I'm assuming, I mean, the fire is going to go out now. It's raining. I'm assuming the food situation is going to be sorted fairly soon. I mean, we do have some potatoes lying about. So I feel like we're going to be okay. The carpets should end up going in pretty soon as well, which will be lovely. Uh, it's just... My only concern at the moment is... Uh, when are we going to be raided next, I suppose? I am a little bit concerned. Now, Tony, how are you looking? Let's have a look. You have developed immunity. Okay. Okay. Um. Jesus, that was a bit intense. Deconstruct that, deconstruct that. That's been installed as a wall, and now the entrances are all around there. So, we have pretty much closed up the base at this point. This is an entrance, but no one's going to take it because there's so many doors that they'd have to go through. And honestly, I can make that worse for them. With a couple more wooden doors just here and there. So like that, like that, and like that. We'll do another one there, another one there, and there, and there. And there's a fire starting spree from Mia. Of course there is. Right in the kitchen as well. Seriously, can can we not have a fire starting spray? It is the last thing we need. Why have you gone on a spray? I can't really tell, to be honest. I do feel like I have I have my crematorium in a pretty bad spot because every time someone's cremated, we have to go and get we have to drag the body through the base. So anyone that's maybe susceptible to seeing something like that and being a bit upset is going to be a bit upset because a body was dragged past them. But there's not a hell of a lot I can do about that. I don't really want to move this thing. So it's pretty much going to stay where it is. Now, Mia, if you could stop with the fire starting spree, that would be great. Are you by any chance, uh, character-wise, pyromaniac and slow? You're not really. You're just a pyromaniac. I thought for a second she might be really susceptible to... Mental... No, that's on fire. If someone could go and put that out. Maybe maybe go do that, Bear? Because, Jesus, we kind of need that. All right. I mean, this could definitely be going better. At least the fire starting spree is over. The prisoners are just sort of walking about in there. One of them's gone to sleep. The other one... I mean, not so much. We've got this being cut, which is good. The animals don't really have much food, which is a problem. Uh, John, can I get you to haul some corn, please? Because the animals really do need it. There is a bit of animal starvation there. Chick 4 is starving. Honestly, I don't think we're going to get any more chicks at this point. I haven't seen any new ones in a while, so inbreeding is not a thing. So I'm going to slaughter the chicks. And the rooster and the chicken and all that. Actually, you know what? We'll keep the rooster. We'll keep him. But the rest of them can go. Oh, Bear. Bear is just ruthless. That dude just does not care. Uh, so what's going on up this way? We have some rice on the go. We should have some corn coming up fairly soon. A uh, lot of carpet work has been going on in here, which is great to see. This room is completely carpeted. Bit of starvation there from Plateau. Really? I mean, I guess they do have a bit further to go when it comes to getting food these days, don't they? And we aren't actually growing all that many berries. We're not growing any berries in here, so... I guess things could be a bit better on that front. 
but I'm not really all that inclined to do much about it at the moment. I kind of just, I like the space we have here. I think this is pretty good. Uh, we could extend a little bit further with the growing space and do like a giant zone for growing whatever the quickest crop is, but I think we're probably all right. I don't really think I'm uh, all that inclined to do that. So how are these prisoners going? We're talking to Walker, and Walker is... I mean, the chance is going up that we're going to recruit these guys. We could release them. That is a thing. Like, the black merchants are... Uh, where are they? These guys. 90, minus 97, so they are very hostile. But there's a chance that if I was to release these guys, my relations with the pirate band might go up a little bit. There is always that possibility. Uh, we're looking at this one to see if we can recruit. Is it going to happen? It is not. There's a very slim chance it's going to happen, but it, it might eventually. We will certainly see. But, uh, ladies and gents, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. We have uh, survived two raids, I think. Was it two raids? Because I, I have I have an off-camera save of this. Not this particular map, but just an off-camera save. I was playing it before I started recording. So I'm not combining that and this, am I? Hopefully, we survived two raids. We did, because we had to deal with all sorts of fighting. We had to deal with these guys with the grenades and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm completely right. Two raids. Then we had these guys up here. We lost Bill. Good old Bill. He will be missed. Uh, we lost Bill, but these things, I guess, happen. Uh, I am going to set a deconstruct order on these graves. Because I want to get rid of them. I don't feel like I want to keep them there anymore. I want to cremate the bodies. and That way, we don't have people going out to visit graves anymore. I'd rather... If we were going to have graves, I'd rather they were in here and they're not. So we're going to deconstruct these, which means that we're going to see some skeletons popping up. Which is lovely. Uh, Mortis is doing some sewing. Uh, which is fine. And is off to watch the eclipse. Alright, well, that's fair enough. We have... What? Are you wearing clothes? Oh my god, we can... There's a lot of people here. So you... Hold on, were any of these people with me? No, 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 no. Still wearing clothes, interestingly, but no, 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 no. I'm noticing a trend here. They're all from Blue Cockroach Croyo. Uh, no, and no. The Black Merchant, Heria Prime, Yakov, I did, it, good old Yakov, the guy that I forgot. Uh, no, no. The Black Merchants, no, no, no. Does it, does it tell me who's buried there? Oh, it does. It just doesn't tell me what, oh, it doesn't actually tell me who they were, or where they were from. I could swear Pan was one of mine. I could swear that was a thing. Can I see more of these get deconstructed, please? I'm really curious to see if Pan was one of my guys that I've just totally forgotten at this point. I also realized I said a couple of minutes ago I'm going to leave it there for today. Apparently, I'm a liar. All right, so that one... Where's Pan? That one's Pan. So Pan... Yeah, Hurdia Prime. Dead for two years and one season. Jesus, that was a while ago. Uh, so you are... Salvador's in a bad mood. I assume that is most likely... Because of the five rotting corpses. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. All right. Mortis, I'm going to have to wake you up. You've got a pretty grim job to do. Uh, we need to get all these bodies out of here. And then maybe get them cremated. In fact, you do need to eat as well. All right. I mean, I guess go eat some potatoes and then go and prioritize the crematorium. A lot of people needing cremated. So we're going to want to get that done. Quite a few bad moods. Bear is in a bad mood because... Colonist left unburied. Bit of raw food. And there is a mental break from Caro. Alright, well, I'm not going to worry about that. That's fine. These things happen. Ladies and gents, I am going to leave it there for today. So thank you, Hannah, for watching. This has been RimWorld Alpha 14, Part 16. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!